So hello guys, it has, I know it has been a long time since I last did a review and these are now serious dire times. The coronavirus is spreading all around us and please be safe in your homes and practice social distancing and self quarantine Please be safe guys, you are the future of the world. So, as we are stuck in this quarantine. What best to do other than to read comic books and stray, uh, binge watch some TV series? So I decided to read many comics and one particular comic which struck me similar to the situation around us is Walking Dead. So Walking Dead is a something which I think most of you may be familiar with because of the hit AMC television series which has garnered its fair many viewers. So I will be reviewing Walking Dead Compendium Volume 1 today and we will be discussing some of the how it is similar to the real world pandemic of coronavirus that is spreading today. This is a zombie epidemic okay. And I there are four compendiums like this. These are big books which collect 48 issues of The Walking Dead. There are a total of 193 issues of Walking Dead till it's finale and there are four comedians collecting all of that I own three comedians and uh, the fourth comedian I had to order but due to the coronavirus they are not shipping right now so it would have to wait for some other time now The Walking Dead as you may know from seeing the TV series has a prince of uh, Rick Grimes who is the main protagonist of our story. He wakes up from a coma and this is the uh, guy Rick Grimes and he wakes up from a coma and finds that the world is overrun by zombies and he does not know what happened and he tries to find his wife and kid and spoiler alert he does find them they are not dead and they are, they are in a settlement with a Rick, uh, Rick, one Rick's old friend and with some other people who have similarly survived and then the story moves on like the most of the zombie horror films which you may have seen well, well like will end soon with the zombies outbreak and some of the heroes survive this is the story of survival in a world that is completely changed by the zombie epidemic so in this uh, book the zombies are caused by zombie virus which is all around the world and it, it, it infests people who are dead like people who die uh, after some time they would be reincarnated as a zombie also if they get zombie bite that's the cliche of the trope but this book is like not at all a zombie story. zombies are the catalyst for the things that are happening in how it changes people how it changes the society how it changes the conditions of the society and similar to it there is a scene of quarantine in this book where the characters are struck in the prison and um, there, there are certain like, communal rights and the people they fight with each other they are humans so, sometimes these these apocalyptic situations bring out the worst in humans sometimes they bring out the best ones so uh, it's very it's a very heavy really very dense philosophical reads are things of the human condition nature of these things and I have heard people say that this is a slow series but so far as I have read the company more in one it is not slow at all and but one thing uh, one negative I can say about this book that it relies on like cheap shock value like they are killing the characters continuously like in Game of Thrones and sometimes it's bad really I mean, it's just feel for the sake of some cheap thrills. Okay, uh, but the character development is on, and this is written by Robert Kirk, uh, Kirkman and drawn by Tony Moore for issues 1 through 6 and Char Charlie Atlard for the rest of the issues until the 193 issues. And so, now let's look at the inside of the book, shall we? So, this is the Compendium 1. This, this is the main cast, the Rick Grimes, his son, Carl, and his wife, and oh, I, I can remember these guys, these are the zombified versions of themselves, 
written by Robert Cookman, published by Image Comics Company Team 1, and collects issue 1 through 48. Now, um, the art of Tony Moore is like really creepy. The, yeah, this, this is the place where he wakes up from the hospital and finds out. That's a cliche trope of all zombie movies. And yeah, the zombies look, they look genif genuinely terrifying. Okay. And now, to avoid spoilers. Now, this is the art of Charlie Adler after the, they have been to the plantation and stuff. And this guy is Shane. Yeah, this guy is Shane. He's one of the main supporting characters. After a certain guy gets killed. Okay, I'm not saying who is that. Fine, read on to find out. And this collects stuff which is in the paperback form of a trade paperback volume 1 to 8. That's a lot of stuff. And as you can see, there is somewhat a gutter loss as you can expect from a trade paperback. But this is your most economic option to read The Walking Dead. As a very long running series, if you go for the hardcover route, it's going to be quite expensive. This book has a fantastic characters that's all i can say with you they develop according to the situation and this is the like i would say yeah there's a governor oh man that's one seriously creepy villain of how the world can change you this is the governor and he caused serious trouble for our people our characters right? now the thing i was mentioning about the quarantine This is the this is the prison where they all of them are quarantined. And the last uh, of this book ends in tragedy, as you can expect probably from all this. And it's in black and white. For so for some people it might be a bit bad for them, but don't worry. As you go and read it continuously, you won't even be bothered by it. And as it's for an economic option there are no extras in this except for some story of an extra who is introduced in care issue number one this is the bonus story and i'm not showing the last page so, okay that's spoiler so that's all i, I have to say about the walking dead comedy it's a cool read go watch the tv show or read this comic book if you can find one and you can find online comics in comicsology if you don't want to go by the physical I don't think the they are shipping anymore due to the coronavirus. So just you know uh, open an online account in Comicsology. They have sales sometimes in bundles, and you can get the, all of the Walking Dead in there. And also, if you want to read Marvel comics, like you see this one, these Vision Secret Wars, Thanos, all of that you can get it on Marvel Unlimited. Just open an account and pay some money. I think it's. Uh, not very really costly uh, like the physical copy so you can do that and you know, enjoy this time for self quarantine so that's all for today guys and tomorrow i'll be do, uh, doing something different from rather than this i'll give you some of the comics which are upcoming that i am looking forward to and also the condition of the comic industry in the wake of coronavirus so stay tuned and please subscribe to our channel and tap the bell icon okay to get notified about the new videos and i won't slack off my subscribers don't worry i won't slack off on new videos like i have there are some personal problems that it's all right okay and i will be doing reviews frequently so that's all thank you and have a nice day